Welcome to STEM Club. This week we've got a lovely relaxing science experiment for home educators wellness week we're doing for you to try at home. All you need for this week's experiment is a bottle of something fizzy and some raisins. And all you need to do is drop your raisins into your bottle or you might want to do it in a cup if you prefer and see what happens. So I'm just going to drop my raisins in and you can watch what happens. So if you watch carefully, you can see all our raisins are dancing about. If you want to use this for a wellness activity, you could even use this for breathing as you breathe in and out, watching your raisins float up and down, focusing on your breath and the gentle floating of these lovely raisins with the bubbles. If you watch really carefully, you can watch all the raisins sinking to the bottom and that's where they form lots of bubbles and then they rise up to the top. When they get to the top, the bubbles pop, so the raisins sink back down to the bottom. This is such a cool experiment to watch. They are all just dancing around. This is amazing. You could even maybe turn this into some artwork and draw a picture of the movements the raisins are making. This is so fun. Oh, I love it. <laughs> this is so good. And it's so simple and easy to do. Okay, so the science behind this experiment is really simple and it's all about density. Density just means how tightly packed in the particles are into the object. With water, you can see here the oil floating on top. So in oil, the particles are less densely packed than water. So the water sinks to the bottom and the oil floats on top. You could even try this with a ball. So do you think this ball is more dense or less dense than water. So it's less dense than water and it floats. You could try and find other things and see if they're more dense than water and they sink or if they're less dense than water and they float. So the raisins are more dense than water so they sink to the bottom. Because our water is full of carbon dioxide, the carbon dioxide is forming bubbles on the raisins in all their gaps. So when the carbon dioxide bubble forms on the raisins, it makes it less dense. So it rises up to the surface because it's less dense than the water. However, when it gets to the surface, all those bubbles that have formed on the raisin pop, so then it sinks back down and we get this beautiful dance of the raisins. Challenge yourself to investigate this further. We've made an observation that raisins go up and down. But what other questions could you ask? What could you change about this experiment and what could you measure? For example, we could change the water we put it in. Well, I've used fizzy water here. So if I put my raisins in still water, what do you think is going to happen? Make a hypothesis and then let's see if you're right. So raisins in still water, they all have sunk to the bottom. Were you right? Is that what you thought? Is there anything else we could change in this experiment? Is there anything else we can measure? So we, you could even try different fizzy waters and see if they make a difference, trying lemonade, fizzy water, or maybe even an orange fizzy drink and see if that makes a difference to how much the raisins go up and down. So we've got raisins in there, we know they work, but do we know if anything else works? Perhaps you could try putting anything else in and seeing what happens there. So I have gone around my kitchen and I've found some different food items around my kitchen. So I've got some rice and some sugar sprinkles and some cherries and we'll see if they work. So we'll do a hypothesis. What do you think is going to happen? Do we think the rice is going to go up and down? Right, let's put the rice in and have a look. Oh, oh my gosh, rice is beautiful. <laughs> so rice is not is making it fizz a lot. Oh, <laughs> Oh no, rice has made it fizz too much. We've had an explosion. <laughs> so rice worked too well in our experiment there. So because the rice must have had so many little gaps and bubbles form, it's actually released the gas, all of the gas. So you can see it fizzing away there in our experiment. Okay, so, th so that's what we've learned from rice. So rice actually has probably too many gaps for the bubbles to form. Right, I'm gonna try sugar. I'm gonna try these sugar sprinkles. 
to see if anything's left on those and see if they do anything. All right, they are, oh, they can't decide if they're floating or sinking. I think there's too many bubbles going on now. We've made quite a reaction here. <laughs> can't see, oh, so they are, they're dancing around too. Yeah, these are the sugar sprinkles. Some of the sugar sprinkles are remaining on top. The bigger ones are floating, but actually the long, thin ones are sinking and floating. Okay, and then I'm gonna try these cherries I found in my kitchen as well, just to see what happens with those. Now, you could discuss, so the cherries have sunk to the bottom and they are forming some bubbles on them, but will they float back up to the top? This is interesting, because actually, these might be too big to get enough bubbles on them to then lift them up again. And you can see it's fizzing away here in our experiment. What a fun experiment. Oh, some of the sugar sprinkles have started to go down and back up again. So they've joined the raisin dance. I think all of the rice, however, has just remained sunk at the bottom. So that is a brilliant experiment for you to try at home. It's a nice, simple, easy one as well. And you could even use it for a wellness exercise for some breathing or just some gentle focus, watching all the bubbles go up and down. Don't forget to share what you've been up to on our Home Educators Facebook group. And if you enjoyed this experiment, do check out last week's experiment where we did some amazing colour changing liquids. So have a look at that. We look forward to seeing you next time for more STEM fun. Oh. <laughs>